Hey everybody, Cool Marine here. So we're gonna put together Betty's Fidget and Caregiver Quilt, okay? So I've got a couple of rows done already, all right? I moved ahead a little bit, all right? But we're gonna put this row together so we can stay together, all right? And you probably notice, yeah, we've got some items on here already, all right? So let's, let's, go, let's go to the table real quick. I can't move and talk at the same time, my wife says. All right, so look, we've got some items I ordered you know, I didn't use Amazon, okay? I used my other resources, but I've got some bells in here. Look at that. That's that's a great button right there. Here's another button. Look at this button right here. This whole lot. Right? This button is so awesome. Look at that. That's a great button, huh? So those are the buttons that I have. Um, I threw one of my old school Marine Corps um, buttons for my dress blues on there. But this is pretty much what I have. I didn't really want to go super overboard with it. Look at this right here. Oh, wait. We've got to show Trace's card. All right. So, Mindless Crafting. If you're not a subscriber, I'm sure you probably are. These are her cards that she did for the pocket. Look at this. This is awesome right here. This is my sister-in-law, Trace, what she did. So, let's... Oh, look at that. Look at that, though. All right. And then, when you pull the card open... Ta -da! That's pretty good, huh? Hey, my sister knows what she does. She, she's awesome at what she does, okay? Look at that. That is really nice. So we got one on the wall right now. Look at this. That even pulls out too, right? Looks like a little, it's a gift bag. Look at the handle on it. The flowers inside the bag. Is that not crazy? Look, hey, I put my quilters up against the card crafters any day of the week, but that's pretty awesome. I got to admit, that's pretty awesome. If card crafters are doing stuff like this, I need to up my game a little bit, okay? <laughs> this is crazy. How, how, this is crazy. Okay, so look, on one of the rows, I have that card in there. That is so sick, I think, right? I love it when two... Craft, crafting skill sets can come together. That is awesome. All right, so look right here. I got one of my um, sleeve buttons for my dress blues on here. I just started putting stuff randomly on, okay? And you're probably wondering, how are you going to quilt it? And I'm probably going to be stitching and ditch on this one. I may close some of the seams, but I also kind of want to leave the mystery that, you know, there may be something in there, there may not be something. We're, hey, we are, this is, the Quilting Marines channel, okay? We make left turns when everyone's making right turns, okay? Think outside of the box, all right? We're not we're not the quilting police over here, and the quilting police is not invited to our channel. We want to be original, all right? It's about what's in your head and what you want to put into your craft, and that's what we're doing here, okay? All right, so let's put, let's put a couple of these, let's put this row together, okay? So let me grab this one here. And this one. Let's grab these two here. All right. So these two, they're facing up. Right side face these. We're going to put our stitch right along here. So we're going to do a little bit of nesting here. Just a little bit, okay? All right. Okay, let's, let's pin for nesting today because we don't know. What's, what level quilters we have with us? We could have somebody who's brand new, who just started, okay? And you're you're the crafter I'm going for, okay? This is a great craft to have, especially as a veteran. All right, we're gonna pin that. So we're pinning it to keep the nest still. So if you're wondering what a nest is, I'm matching this line, this stitch line up with this line right here on the other side. Okay, so it looks like when you roll it over, it looks like the same line on both sides. Okay, for those of you who don't know what nesting is, but we're nesting like eagles. Okay, there was a time when I was nesting like a penguin, but we're beyond that now. Okay, let's take it to our Bernina. All right, so we're at our Bernina. We do a quarter inch seam here.
Okay, so something that I realized about the Benina that I kind of I'm kind of liking is when the Benina's making sounds, something's wrong. Or it's letting you know that something's about to happen. I, I kind of like that. It's audible. Not with beeps, but with the way that the needle goes in and out. I, it's, it's, it's weird. I'm realizing that lately. So, all right. So now we got our quarter inch. Let's take it to the table. No, we're going to iron it open. All right. All right. So we got it on the table. Let's open this up a little bit here. So let's the next, go to the wall and get the next one. The next one's a dark gray and it already has some items on it. It has a sewing machine and a butterfly. Let's go grab that one. We're getting the next one. It has a butterfly and a sewing machine on it. All right, grabbing it from the wall. All right, we're about to move to the table. I'm teasing my wife because she hates when I walk and talk because she can't keep up when I'm walking and talking. All right, so let's nest this right here. Gunner's doing drive-bys where he's walking by and his tail's knocking everything off the windowsill. All right, let's go to the machine. Gunner. So we're back at the table. We're gonna press this open. <laughs> Those of you who are keeping up are like, yeah, okay, how did he make it from the machine to the table without walking and talking? Okay, let's press the seam here. Let's open it up here. And we are moving on. I'm gonna grab another one, okay? All right, look at that butterfly. That looks so cool, right? And we got our sewing machine on this one. That one looks pretty awesome, too. I like that. All right. So, yeah, we're putting them on just for her to mess with and, and touch and play with, okay? We're not going to be a, super attached to this at all. Although I rarely ever am to any of my quotes, okay? I like to, the process for me. You guys know it's the process, building it, and then getting it out of here, okay? And getting it out of here, I don't want to sound cruel, but, I mean, it's a quilt. I mean, I'm not attached to it, so I like, my enjoyment is the process of building them and then seeing how people react when you give them one. I love that, all right? But hanging them up and keeping them, nah, I don't do that. That's not me, okay? So let's grab another block. Here we go. Pow! All right, so we're at the table here. Let's go ahead and nest this up here. Okay, that look close. That's close enough for government work, right? All right, let's take it to the Bernina. All right, I'm gonna take it to the ironing board. Let's press the seam. Let's open this baby up here. That neon splash is something, man. I like this neon splash. This is the very first fabric that I, I fell in love with and had to get for the store. I'm gonna be using this quite a bit, I think. I mean, I have others. I got some butterfly. 
We got some the thank you, multicolor thank you with all the languages. But this neon splatter, there's something about it. Okay, let's grab another block. Yeah, we're making some we're making some progress here. Going to the wall. Going to the wall. <laughs> I'm being smart ass. My wife's giving me a look right now. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. The other block. Look, we made it to the table. All right, we're nasty. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that, babe? All right, so here we go. Let's dust this up here. All right, so what I'm going to do is when I get the rows together, probably we'll start stitching in buttons, all right? We'll start putting in our stuff here. We'll close it up, and then we'll have a top done, okay? We're going with a pretty small lap quilt, all right? It's not, we're not going with something huge. Something I wanted to put this together fast for Betty, okay? Because I gotta still work on her caregiver's quilt as well. But I'm not using the same design. I'm gonna be using some other fabric. And uh, we're, we're just gonna push forward, okay? So let's go ahead and get this done here. So we got nest here. So you're getting the concept of nesting, right? See that, right? Okay. Let's go to the machine. All right, let's take it to the iron. All right, let's open this up. We got one more block to go. So what we'll probably do is I'll show you how I put the buttons on too. I'm not a, I'm not a, oh, I almost said it what Marines call it, but I'm not a stitch baby, we'll call it. But Marines, we have a term for people who sell, for Marines, fellow Marines who sell. And it's not stitch baby, okay? <laughs> you can imagine, all right? We are right with profanity. So it's not stitch baby, all right? You get it? All right. But I'm not that. I just, um, my mom taught me how to put stitches together, but it can, it can kind of helped out in the Marines when it came to repairing my own gear, but I'm going to put a button on and that's going to be pretty interesting how we do that. I think. All right, let's grab one more block, our final block for the row right here. Cacao. All right. This is the final one for the row. Let's go ahead and match this up here. Okay, so real quick, sometimes when you're um when you're putting on when you're um nesting, you kind of want to pay attention because sometimes you could nest in a way that makes the row kind of like bend like this or like this. All right, so you want to pay attention to your alignment at the top as well when you're nesting. Don't over concentrate on just the nest alone, all right? Okay. Let's see where we are here. All right, see how wonky that is right there? That's the new word of the month, wonky. I hate that word. All right. Yeah. All right, that looks pretty good. All right. All right, so we're going to the Bernina, okay? All right, so we're home here on our Bernina, and we are going to put a coordinate seam here. So my stitch length here is is a is actually a two. All right, all right, that's it. That's done for the roll. Let's take it to the iron. 
Let's open this up here. All right, let's press the seam first. Okay, now let's open it up. Okay. So we're gonna put it on the wall. I'm just gonna pin it to the wall so that I can look at it and see what I wanna add to it or take away from it, okay? Okay, so we're at the wall. got three rows done right so while it's pinned to the wall is when I look at it and tell myself what I want to add to it like I obviously want to put some stuff here I probably want to put one of that that I'm, my second card maybe in this area right here because I'm thinking about how it would lay across her lap okay we may put the other card on this side maybe all right depends on how she would lay it on her lap all right so this also this quilt the thing about this quilt too is I haven't thought about what we would do if we had if it had to be washed. So what I'm going to do is scotch guard the top, okay? Try to protect it as much as I can before we uh, put it all together, okay? So what I'll do is I'll pull the card out and then um, I'll scotch guard the top, okay? And then hopefully the scotch guard will protect it for some time, okay? It's not gonna, it's not a forever fix, nor do I expect this quilt to last forever, okay? I mean it's. It's a quilt built out of concern, love, and and friendship. So, you know, if there's a problem with the quilt, then of course I'll repair it. But I'd rather build her another one than, than repair a quilt, okay? I do try to build the quilt so that it will last. But, you know, life is life. I mean, it, it happens, okay? So we'll, we'll protect it with a Scotch Guard um, spray down. And then, um, you know... Hopefully, hopefully it'll last in a, in a wash or in a cleaner. I don't know. I, I've never experienced that. I don't know what how what that path is going to be for this quilt. Okay, but my job is to build the quilt as durable as possible before I hand it over to Betty. Okay, so well, I'm going to finish this row right here, and when we come back on our next video, you'll see how the Stitch Baby puts uh, buttons on. Okay. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And remember, it's only fabric and it's only thread.